Welcome to this, one of our two minute tips videos. And in this video, we're going to focus on shutter type, which is an update from our previous two minute tips on electronic front curtain shutter. Welcome back, and in this video we're going to focus on shutter types, which is really a bit of an update or a follow-on from our top tip number eight, which was around electronic front curtain shutter. Those of you who've updated your firmware to version 2 on the Z series cameras, um, which included the much heralded eye autofocus, may have noticed in the release notes that there have been some changes to the um, settings around electronic front curtain shutter. D5 in your custom settings menu. What was electronic front curtain shutter has now changed its name to shutter types. And this is really a little update that Nikon has done to give a little more automation to us as users. In that setting, you'll now see there are three options. There is auto, there is mechanical shutter, and there's electronic shutter. The Nikon Z series cameras, in common with many mirrorless cameras, have both a mechanical shutter and an electronic shutter. And that gives us options, and there are pros and cons with each of those. If, for example, noise is your primary concern, then silent shutter might be the best option. I'll put a card above to our two minute tip on silent shutter. However, with silent shutter, there are quite a lot of limitations on when you can use it. If, however, vibration is your issue, then electronic front curtain shutter may be the best option for you. Whilst it uses the electronic shutter for the front curtain, it still uses the mechanical shutter for the rear curtain. So whilst not totally silent, it is about reducing the amount of vibration that can permeate into your image. And therefore, under certain circumstances, can enhance the sharpness of your image by reducing the vibration. There are still some uh, limitations. For example, you can't use electronic front curtain shutter at a shutter speed of faster than one two thousandth of a second. Um, however, some of the previous limitations around ISO have been removed in version two of the firmware. So really you're down to just a limitation on shutter speed. However, you do still have to consider whether you're shooting in a situation which has frequency-based lights such as fluorescent or sodium street lights because that can affect um, an electronic shutter. Equally, it doesn't work as well with fast-moving objects or where you're panning. So those are considerations as well. With version 2 of the firmware, you now get the option to have electronic front curtain shutter um, enabled permanently, have mechanical shutter permanently, or an auto setting where the camera will look at the shutter speed that you're using and for slow shutter speeds up to about 1 250th of a second it will use electronic front curtain shutter and for shutter speeds faster than 1 250th of a second it will use a mechanical shutter. So I hope this has been a useful update to our previous two minute tip on electronic front curtain shutter for those of you who are using version 2 of the firmware. If you are using version 2, let me know how it's going. Have you had any problems with it or are you finding there's some really useful enhancements to the Z series cameras? Drop your thoughts in the uh, comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. If you're enjoying these two minute tips, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future two minute top tips and other videos that we're producing. 